Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app on Windows. Today we are discussing about CareCam Pro for PC. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is CareCam Pro for PC, what are its features and function. After that, we'll tell you minimum system requirement and we'll then we will move our video to our practical part means how you get this file how you install the file and how you configure the file to make configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so care cam pro for pc is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on low location over the internet okay so basically this is used to connect and control the CV camera on laptop screen and mobile screen. Okay. App for PC is basically made to connect and control the device on, on your laptop or desktop PC. This is a software program for monitoring the CCTV cameras on the computer screen. So the main purpose of this app you, is that by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. So many camera, standalone camera doesn't come with a PC software, but this camera comes with a PC software. So, and you can not only see the access live, live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the camera. So you take the snapshot of the video, you control the PTZ camera, you save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take the backup, backup of the recorded videos. You can do a lot of things like that. So this is all about this feature and function. Now that question I just, that how you get this for that, you should open any browser. In my case, I'm using Chrome. So just open my browser here, Cam Pro for PC. Okay. When I do this, I found a lot of website, but I just go to my favorite one. So this will not tell you, not only give you file, but tell you that how you configure, how you installed, everything is mentioned over there. Just click on this. And Wait for a few seconds, your file become ready to be downloaded. Now click on this. Now close the option, add. Now your file start downloading, okay? Let the download to be finished. Now it is finished, just click in show in folder option. Here you, is your downloaded file. Just right click on the downloaded file and click extract to care cam for PC. So using, try to using zip. Now it is extracted. When you, when you extract it, you find the folder name same as the file name. Just open the folder. And here is your installer file or application file or .exe file. Just right click on installer file and click as run as administrator. And click next. Again click next. Again click next. Just tick both because it, it will create a desktop icon here. You should find auto run. Just click on next. Click installed. Now it will inst install the entire software. It is totally automatic process. When you click on launch X, the software, it will automatically open the software. Now this is the interface and give allow access. This is a very important step. Don't miss it. Okay. Now it asks for a username and password. Okay. So please don't be confused here. You should use same username and password which are which you use on the mobile device. So here I enter my username and password. Now click sign in. Now you find your camera. Click on that.
Now you find the camera, just double click on that. In this way, you can see the multiple camera at a time. I just double click it, its camera looks like this. Even you can run it on SD mode, you can take the screenshot. Even you can do the many option like Here you find the PTZ option. Now you are able to move the camera. Okay. Now I will explain each and every option one by one. The first option is SD and SD mode. When you click on it, run on now in SD mode. When you click it, now it run on HD mode. Okay. You can see the quality difference here. It ran. SD mode and when you click on HD it become more clear okay and here you if you want to take a screenshot just click on that it will save take a screenshot and if you want to communicate with your device hello 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 you simply see that that we can hear the voice from the camera and we can communicate with here also just close, just open the now. Hello, hello, hello. When you see the when you open the speaker, you see the answer. So if you want to live record the video, just click on this. Your re video recording start. When you again click on this, you can video recording stop. Okay, here is the full mode. Now from here you see the switch on button and here you, you find the SD card option and from here if you take the cloud option then you can click here okay. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. So one more thing I would like to tell you uh, that you can see the multiple channel at a time. For example if you are, if you are adding up three or four camera on the same account then you are able to call the thing from here. and one uh, how you add this device by using the mobile i will make a separate video on that i give link in the descriptions so you can check it if you have any confusions i will make a video for both android and iphone i will give both links so you can check it that how you connect with the, with the same account on android and iphone and the laptop so thanks for watching one again thank you have a nice day